Today is Juneteenth, a day that marks the end of slavery in the United States. It's a holiday that's been historically overlooked, but now it's in the spotlight with the country facing a racial reckoning of sorts. Today, a mural reading Power to the People was unveiled in Detroit Spirit Plaza downtown. And big companies such as Nike, Target, and Quicken Loans have made it a company holiday. Our Priya Mann is live at Hart Plaza. Priya, some local businesses are marking the day to try to help the community. Yeah, that's right. You know, small businesses are the backbone of the economy. Some business owners decided to give their workers a paid day off. Others spent the day raising money for local nonprofits. The celebrations continue behind me at Spirit Plaza. Many business owners in Detroit say they welcome a growing awareness about Juneteenth. Naila Ellis Brown shut down her manufacturing facility on Juneteenth to give her Detroit staff the day with their families. Our staff is 100% black. And so holidays that are important to the black community, it's important for us to recognize that. Ellis Island Tea is a family affair, which began with Brown's great grandfather. The recipe is his. My great grandfather was a, a chef and he ran one of the largest black owned catering companies in the Bronx. Just food runs through my bloodline. She says she wants to give her staff Juneteenth off every year. To give the day off, it, it just, it, it feels really good. We appreciate our staff so much and we just want them to know that we want to show that. We want to show some gratitude. Meanwhile, over on the Avenue of Fashion, Good Cakes and Bakes was open and busy. Juneteenth is just another way for us to um, express and put emphasis on what we are doing in the community. April Anderson wanted to use her platform to raise awareness about Juneteenth and help local nonprofits. A dollar from every sale for my pride cupcake would go to the Justice Center. Families could get diapers and baby supplies in addition to their sweets. That's great. You know, that's nice for them to uh, give back to people. So. Two Detroit business owners working to make Juneteenth a celebration we can all take part in. I, I love to see the new bis the businesses that are now recognizing and allowing their employees to be off work and paying them to be off work for it. It'd be great if it became a um, federal holiday where everybody was able to uh, participate and celebrate this day. And Michigan, by the way, recognized Juneteenth as a holiday back in 2005. Reporting live from downtown Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right, Priya, we appreciate it. Thanks.